Hello, my name is Brian Alderson and I'm a senior instructional designer for Trellix. Today, we will take a look at the different available options for installing the Trellix EDR client package. This demo will show the different options available for deploying the Trellix EDR client to managed endpoints in the environment. As a quick refresher, managed endpoints are devices that have the Trellix agent installed for EPO management and policy enforcement. You can manually install the Trellix EDR client by obtaining the installer file from the EPO software folder. From here, you can deploy the client in many different ways. You can use a third-party deployment tool, like Microsoft System Center Configuration Manager, IBM Tivoli, Novell Zenworks, BMC Client Automation, or use simple logon scripts to install the Trellix EDR client on Windows systems. Another option is to deploy the client through EPO. There are a couple of ways in EPO that this can be accomplished. One option is to create a Trellix agent product deployment task from the client task catalog. and assign it to one or more groups within the system tree. You can install the EDR client by creating an individual client task in Trellix EPO and then assign the task to run on a group of systems. This is applicable only for a group of systems listed under the system tree that are managed and actively communicating with EPO. After creating the new task, you will enter a task name and optionally a description and then select the target platform. Review the task details and click Save. The task is added to the list on the Assigned Client Task tab under the System tree. Tasks are sent to the selected client systems during the next agent-to-server communication. Another option is to use the product deployment feature from the EPO menu. The product deployment feature offers a simplified workflow and increased functionality to deploy products to your EPO managed systems. Start with creating a new deployment task. Select the EDR Client Installation Package for Windows if installing onto Windows Systems, or choose the EDR Client Installation for Linux Systems. Here you can view the configuration and status of currently configured deployments. Once finished, we can see which ones were successfully installed. In our example, we see that there were some failed instances, and this is because the devices are Linux-based. Our deployment task was specifically using the Windows installer. And now that you know the location and configuration of the initially created product deployment, you can duplicate this product deployment task, for example, to deploy the EDR client to platforms using different operating systems. As a recap, you can install the EDR client onto managed systems in your environment by using the client installation package to manually deploy the client or by using EPO's available product deployment options. You can access the available installation guides for Trellix EDR on our website to see additional installation options and more details such as command line options and system requirements. Thanks for watching and be sure to view our other available Trellix Smart Tips.